In this video, you are going to learn how to register for classes at the College of Charleston. To begin with, you need to log into your My Charleston using your College of Charleston login information and password. Once you get into your My Charleston, you'll need to go to the Academic Services tab, and then you're going to scroll down to Registration Tools. You'll need to make sure you've taken care of the registration status information, that is the Student Financial Responsibility Form and the current contact information. To register for classes, we're going to go to Add or Drop Classes and click on that link. Now, first we need to select the term for which we're registering. We are just going to be registering for the fall of 2018. You only register for one semester at a time. So we put 2018 fall into the drop down menu and we click Submit. Now we see all of the subjects taught at the College of Charleston. Let's take a look at an English 110 class. So we're going to scroll through the subjects until we find English 110. We click on it so it's highlighted and we click Course Search. Here we see our English 110 Introduction to Academic Writing and we want to view the sections. So here's the course information. We can see the course registration number, the subject English 110, section number, campus, the credit for credit hour course, and the title Introduction to Academic Writing. If you look here at section four, we can see in the title it says LC9 within the title. That means that that section is part of a learning community, which is part of that whole first year experience. So if we're just trying to sign up for an English class today, we're going to want to avoid that one. We want to stick to one that just says Introduction to Academic Writing. But if we are interested in taking English as part of a learning community, we could definitely sign up for that one and the other class with which it is paired. We can also see the days and times for the class and when it meets. We can see that this one meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 8.50 and then Wednesday from 9 to 9.50 because this is a four credit hour course. You can see here our identifiers for days of the week. M is Monday, T is Tuesday, W is Wednesday, R is Thursday, F is Friday. So if the class says MWF, it meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If the class says TR, it meets Tuesday and Thursday. Now, seats available, this is what we're looking for. On the left-hand side, anything with a C is closed. Anything with an open box is open. On the right-hand side, we can see the cap. That's the total number of seats available for that section. And then we can see how many seats are remaining or available to register for it. So in sections 2, 3, and 4, we can see that it is capped at 20 seats, but there are 20 seats available. The other information we're looking at on here is the location. On the left hand side we see the campus on which the course is located. On the right hand side we see the actual building. Just a reminder we have a main campus, we have Harbor Walk, and we have a north campus up by the airport. You'll mainly be registering for classes on the main campus and at Harbor Walk. On the right hand side is the attribute column and that's where you can find information pertinent to each section. So let's register for a class. I find a section available that I like. I click on the open box. Once that check marks in there, that's the section I've chosen. I go down to the bottom. I click the register bottom. Do not click the add to worksheet. That just adds it into the worksheet and doesn't actually register you for the class. Click the register. When it says web registered, that means you are in the class. You don't have to do anything else as far as getting into that class. You are registered for the class when it says web registered. Now let's look at adding a first year experience or a learning community. You should have written down the course registration numbers doing your homework last night. And you'll take those numbers and you'll insert them into these boxes. For a first year experience, you'll be entering two numbers. For a learning community, you'll be entering upwards of three, four, maybe even five numbers. 
So we enter the numbers into the boxes. We click Submit Changes. And when it says Web Registered, we are in the class. Now that, now that we've added a couple of classes, it may be confusing about what times those classes are. And so that's when you can click on this concise student schedule down at the bottom. And now we see all the classes we've registered for. And we can see the course, the title, the campus, the credits, the start date, and the end date. That's important. We want to make sure we're taking full semester courses. You can see the days, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, and then the times, and the location and the instructor. Now let's look at adding another class. From here, you'll go up to the top and click on Return to Menu. And then we're going to add or drop a class for the fall of 2018. And let's look at a science because we need to add a lecture and lab at the same time. So we're going to look up a biology class right now. Do Core Search for Biology. And we can see all of the Biology 111 sections that are offered. And then the 111L is the lab. So we're going to have to select the lecture and the lab at the same time, making sure both fit into our schedule. So I find these two sections work, the Biology 111 Section 6 Lecture and the Biology 111L Section 9, which is the lab. That one meets Monday 7.30 to 10.30 at night. We do have labs that run late. I will click both sections, go down to the bottom, click Register. And as long as seats are available and it fits into my schedule, I am registered for the class. Now the last thing we want to go over is how to drop a class. Because as you're making changes, you may add or drop continuously until you get the schedule that you want. So we go to the drop down menu, the action button, and our only choices are going to be web drop. So I put those in for both. I go down to the bottom. I click submit changes. And you're now out of the class. Remember, you will have academic advisors in the room helping you to make these choices. Feel free to ask and we will make sure that you walk out of here with a schedule set up just for you. Good luck!